I take the Monday night sessions for Dragons Muay Thai. Talk about training as a whole, so how do you think training's been going so far this year? Uh, training this, so far this year has been going really, really well. We've gone straight back to basics, focusing on our key strategies just to build up uh, points for the fight uh, at UCL that's coming up. Uh, just going back to basics. Do you feel like you've had a lot more members this year? Do you feel like the club's grown since last year you started teaching? The club's grown enormously since last year. The turnout's been really, really good. Uh, we're very, very pleased about that. We've got an extra class now on a Wednesday, which is brilliant so the students can now train three times a week with training us down at London Muay Thai Academy on optional days which is absolutely brilliant. Hey my name is Charleston. I'm a business student at uh, Marlborough Campus and um, I'm a Muay Thai fighter. Of course you've been here uh, training with us from last year um, how, do you, how do you feel the team is now? Well, I think it's progressed quite a lot. I think there's a lot more people in here. It's a lot more intense. I think the training's got um, a pretty advanced and it's more like a fight situation. Training, it's got a lot better, a lot better. Mary, you've joined us here um, at UWSU in September. Um, how does it feel to be training with us for the last few months? I feel quite great. I mean, uh, being, being part of the team is, is pretty brilliant. I mean, everyone's very supportive. Uh, it feels like a family, nearly, and and I, I feel pretty great being being on the team. However, obviously it's quite tough training with, with you guys. I mean, there's no no sort of slacking or anything, so you have to put a lot of effort. You do have to, you know, really go for it. Erica is going to go out. She's already got a kickboxing background, so which is great. Um, it's really, really good to see a girl going out and fighting for the Dragons the first time. So I'm very, very keen to push her and make sure that she's um, confident and feels comfortable going out and fighting that for the, for the Dragons for the first time. I don't feel 100% yet, but I think by the time the fight comes up, I'll be definitely fit enough to um, go a little, a little away. What stuff do you need to be doing to get to that 100% you're looking for? Um, I'm going to be doing road work pretty much for all week until until like the last week of the fight. I'm going to go to as many training sessions as I can and um, do the strength and conditioning training on Saturdays if I can make it and just basically keep training and eat well. I've been doing quite a lot actually. Uh, I've, I've been doing Monday, Tuesday, uh, well Wednesday, so I've been trying to bojo. Sometimes Tuesday was too hard and and unfortunately unfortunately had a knee problem so I couldn't couldn't really do t too much last week but but basically you've got you've got Mon Monday Tuesday Wednesday then Friday and then uh, Saturday as well for the fighters I've turned up to that it's very tough it's a lot of you know a lot of cardio work um, you really have to push it you really have to work hard the fighters we stripped them right back to basics because uh, we've had the break over the holiday so we've had to go back to fitness to get, regain their fitness over the holidays um, and reworking on their skills and developing them further. So we've got two minutes this time to get as many points as possible. So as soon as the bell goes, we're going to war just to get the points. What's for the f upcoming fight? How do you feel? Well, I mean, without being too cheeky, uh, ideally I'd love to win the whole, <laughs> whole, whole thing, really. <laughs> Good to win it, really. I want to get at least the finals or semi-finals either way. I want to do well. I'm definitely not losing my first or second fight.